Hi guys, this is a powerful machine that I was using for different purposes in the past, uh, but this time around I want to convert it into a full-time server uh, to host uh, my application and other applications that I'm developing for other uh, clients. A uh, couple of changes have been made on this particular uh, machine. Um, I've converted the DVD-ROM into Blu-ray disc ROM and DVD rewriter and also I've expanded some of the base here uh, this one is currently empty I've not made any changes there but this one I've got um, four uh, mechanical disk here that I'm using as um, for RAID 5 configuration and please pardon me um, if my hand is kind of shaking because um, you may not have full professional view of what I'm doing right now because I'm using my right hand to hold the camera and uh, what I just want to do is just a quick cleanup on this particular machine uh, mounted on this machine is running on the Xeon processor Xeon X5675 uh, uh, with liquid, liquid cooling uh, capability uh, it has um, several features like uh, hyper threading capability and uh, multi-clocking capability I'm going to be installing Ubuntu on top of it and I may walk you through the process or take you uh, with me along the journey using Ubuntu installing the virtual main and uh, web main uh, as I said I just want to do a quick cleanup and also mount up these uh, these graphic card on, on it I'm going to open this Got a few touch points here. Let's see if I can turn this around to get more light into this compartment. And I've got uh, four drives here as well. They are mechanical. I'll be converting that into um, SSD as well instead of using mechanical. I want it to be very fast. Couple of cables here. Um, and I've got um, uh, the RAID controller. I've got another um, SSD here, Samsung SSD, uh, and that is where the operating system is running from, and it is running on RAID 1. So what I'm just going to do is to mount the graphic card and also do some cleaning. Let's take a look at the internal. Uh, there's a hook just right on this side uh, all you just need to do if you're taking this out is just to unhook it as you can see that's the hook pretty easy to take apart if you want to take out the power uh, there's a touch point everywhere you see the green um, sign that means a touch point for you to remove something I'm gonna push that back I don't really have to I don't want to take that out at the moment and lock it back a few things I want to show you here let's see if we can get some more light into this place we've got the liquid uh, cooling system from HP uh, just a quick pause here let me see if I can get some more light into this compartment all right it looks it looks a little bit better now uh, just right behind this fan, I've got the um, the RAM set right there. I'm going to take that out so that you can see. Um, what else can do I want to show you here? And just to let you know, if you want to take out the uh, DVD ROM or you want to take off this compartment here for the um, sorry, um, if you want to take the DVD ROM. Or the Blu-ray ROM or the compartment out all you just need to do is to pull this flap apart and then you'll be able to uh, take it out from the front but you need to ensure that the cables right here they are taken out and um, to take out the the drives all you just need to do push this back uh, just push the touch point touch it down and then you'll be able to pull this out I can show you that it's pretty easy push it back in and there you go